Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is April and in this channel I do lots and lots of self-care, especially for moms. So today this video is going to be like a get unwind with me. You know, we're getting ready for bed. Um, it is actually, what time is it? It's 9.04 right now. I have me some red mascara right here. So get you some wine, get you some tea, let's unwind, put the kids to sleep. If you hear my son, he's with his dad and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is on. Mind your business. But I think I'm going to do my skin. I want to straighten my hair because I got somewhere to go tomorrow and I can't be walking outside like this. And then I think I want to also shave my face as well. So we're going to get unwind. We're just going to get ready for the night and talk and chit chat and just. Bob. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys one of some of my favorite butters before we move on and start talking about what our topic is. Also, this robe is from Amazon. You know, it reminds me of the Skims, but affordable. I got it for twenty six bucks. So yeah, my the only thing is like my titties. It's my titties fault. My titties are super saggy. That's one thing during like when I gained weight and especially after I had jeans, my titties got heavy and saggy to where like it hurts like right here. Like I'm not wearing a bra right now, but usually I like to wear some kind of comfort sports bra, something to lift these bad boys up because let me just say, I cannot wait until I get my breast augmentation. I just want reduced and a lift. That's it, that's it, that's all. But I don't know if I want to wait till like after I have more kids or what, so. Yeah, but I'm gonna use some Vaseline lotion just to put on my legs because baby girl just hopped out of the shower and I'm dry. How is your guys' day? How is your guys' night going? Mine was okay. This Monday, today was like a weird day. I think it's because I'm ovulating, but I was stupid tired. Like, I couldn't even, usually me and James will go out for a walk now. We'll go out for an hour walk. Um, I will walk for an hour and then I'll let him play for 30 minutes. I couldn't even, well, I made it past an hour, but it was just so stressful. I was like, oh my God, I just feel like I'm about to pass out, like, and go to sleep. So, yeah. and then the other day I was cramping. I was like, I know this in my period. And I looked, I was ovulating. So, yeah. Another thing I love is this Stretch Mark Butter. This is something that I got from Ancient Cosmetics. It's really good. I like it. But I honestly do prefer the one from Amazon because it's just not like the shea butter, the tube of shea butter from Amazon. But this one, if you don't want to do all that, this one has shea butter, coconut butter, coconut oil, lavender oil, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil. And it smells like lavender. It smells super good. I put it on my little tummy. I can't really show you guys that because I ain't got no brow on. <laughs> but it really is a good one. So the next thing I'm going to do to just smell a little good is use their same one by uh, it's their oil. It's their hydrating passion fruit body oil. Now I told you guys in a video that I do like the oil just the smell is too sweet but I usually wear it at night instead of like during the day because I don't want to get stung by no bee. I don't want dogs chasing after me like I just wear it at night you know. So, yeah, let's go on to our first topic. And I think my first topic I actually want to talk about is being a new mommy during COVID. Girl, child. <laughs> to all of you ladies that had a baby, like actually gave delivered during covid i pops to you and you had more kids and you're more than a like a new mom you this is maybe your second child or your third child girl i props to you single mothers i props to you like i just so let me say something james i didn't have him during covid i had him in 2019 but literally once he started walking and being active literally like we went to disney world in march and then we literally got on lockdown covid and james just didn't go hand in hand like it was so indescribable like i was like this boy is out of control 
I never felt so like just like I need to really get them out of here in my whole entire life like Especially once you know they start walking, they start getting into things. I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm using the Baby Bliss uh, hair straightener. Once they start walking, they start getting into stuff, touching stuff they ain't supposed to be touching. And especially because you can't take them outside, that was a little worse than that. Like, it was just a little too much for me. Um, so that's why I'm really not going to go in too far with being a mom during COVID, but I feel like something i really want my channel to touch on is just self-care for moms and i know especially during this time where some of us are still locked out locked up <laughs> some of us are still in lockdown some of us probably had covid some of us are just going through things mentally and i feel like this channel i really want this channel to be somewhere where you moms all your moms even women like if you don't have no kids or if you're a spiritual mom or your mom that's experienced fertility like i want this to be a community where we can all come together and love on each other because we need it so much i've seen so like even me i grew i i ended up joining some like mommy facebook group because i was like i need like moms in my life like especially being a young mom i got pregnant when i was 20 had i'm at 21 now i'm 23 i just turned 23 so i experienced a lot and my sisters are obviously they have kids right uh, look at this he put a ch in my hair gel oh see that see 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 what i'm talking about <laughs> but um they're older so sometimes and their their kids are way older you know so sometimes you just want somebody that might be going through the same thing as you yesterday i if you guys don't know obviously by the background we moved to a new community. I love this place that we moved to. Glory to God, honestly, for giving us this place. And, like, I made a new friend the other day when I was walking. And it was just so nice because I was able to talk to her about, like, things she's experienced at the same time. Her baby was seven months. James is one. And I was just connecting with her. And I loved it so much. So, I hope and pray that this channel can be, like, a community for all the women that experience with postpartum depression, anxiety, just mental health, weight, weight, weight health. Like, I'm on a weight loss journey as well. Like, I feel like at this time, as women, we really need to stick together. So, that's my little tea thing. Okay, so also, if you guys want to know where my hair is from, this is the Eunice HD Lace Front Wig. I got it from Amazon. Um, yeah, I really like it. I have, like, lots of wigs. So, I'm just, this is, like, my everyday wig that I like to just, you know, do things in. So, yeah so my next topic that i want to talk about is have having a baby after postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety or just anything like a pregnancy scare miscarriage like i've seen a lady talk about this on um tiktok <laughs> like what on tiktok and it really resonated with me maybe i can play it right here for you guys um i'll play right here so the idea of having another kid really scares me um i was not able to take certain uh antidepressants during pregnancy which made the entire process so much harder for me and then on top of that um i dealt with really severe postpartum depression after lily was born and it just I almost didn't make it through that. So maybe one day, but for now, I'm just, I'm good with one. That video really resonated with me because me and my fiance, we talked about having other kids, but I went through postpartum anxiety that ended up being postpartum depression, long story short. But, and I, I honestly like, I'm still young, so I have a lot of things to go through in life, but that, that was that was one of the hardest things mentally I had to get out. And that's the thing between stay-at-home moms and working moms. Like, I worked up until I was 38 weeks pregnant. I was a child care provider. I was a child care provider for about six years, guys. I worked in the child care industry. So I was working with a big-ass belly, you know what I'm saying? And I decided to take that, um, take these couple years 
two years and just be home with my son which I'm really grateful for but I didn't really know about what could happen being a stay-at-home mom it's more of a mental thing than a physical thing when you're a working mom it's more than physical the mental yeah you still miss your baby you can come home to your baby once I'm one fucking get two you're like oh girl I gotta go work <laughs> I gotta go like sometimes I'm like I Joshua I think I'm gonna go back to work he's like girl you know stop it which i'm really grateful that i have you know like a i'm really grateful that i have a partner that will like allow me to stay home because some moms don't get that but i think i one thing that i really wish i would have read up on or just been knowledgeable of being a stay-at-home mom the things that can happen being alone like i'm alone eight hours 24 sometimes he's going to work for 12 hours out of the day. I'm by myself with the kid. I'm like talking to myself, you know. That's why I'm like, I need to create a YouTube channel. Um, and just like the mental thing, like your mental health. And I honestly, like guys, I'm 23 years old. If you were probably, what were you doing when you were 23 years old? You know what I'm saying? You was worrying about the club, you know, getting drunk, me and that nice guy, you know. But, and I think that's something that I didn't really care about. But at the same time, like, I was like, dang, I have no friends. I'm all by myself, you know, and I would break down. And I didn't understand what could happen to me just being a stay-at-home mom. Like, my mental health, like, if I, if you really want to just be serious for a second, like, if it wasn't for maybe James and my support system next to me, my mother, my, my partner, my sister, I honestly wouldn't be here. Like, truth. Like, I wouldn't be here. But I'm just here to tell you, if you're maybe in that same position that I am, I'm telling you right now, girl, you are going to make it through. Like, there's times where I'm just, like, my head was playing too many games, and I'm just like, I'm done. Like, you know? And it's all mental. It's all in your head. It's all thoughts in your head. But I want you to understand, like, going through postpartum depression, it's, it's normal, but it's not normal. Because, obviously, it's a chemical imbalance. Your hormones acting crazy. But it's normal because a lot of women experience it. And I just want that to be... And I didn't know that. That's what's crazy until I met with my therapist. And she was like, girl, you want to come to the women's group? I'm like, women's group? There's more of me? You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, oh, okay. And I started just trying to get more... I started... I, I think what made me also too was I allowed my thoughts to take control of who I am and the person that I am. And this time around, I'm not saying I'm having another baby right now, but this, but I'm saying next time around, like I know what I can do better. Is it scary? Do I want to have another baby? Hell no. Hell no. Not right now. Not anytime soon. But if God's like, girl, I'm pushing out a girl for you right now. Like she's coming down. I'm like, okay, I'm ready because now I kind of know what I need to do. And my support system knows. And I say to anybody that's going through anxiety, postpartum, I think the one thing that helped me, that released a little something, was telling somebody. So any of you guys over there that are just like, oh, should I tell my husband or friends? Tell somebody, please, please, please. Because that's somebody. And make sure it's somebody that you know will check up on you. That somebody will check up on you. And what's crazy is my husband was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, nothing he's like are you okay and he actually was looking up like symptoms of postpartum depression and he's like babe i think we're going through like postpartum depression and i was like yes i am <laughs> are you new you know so and what's crazy it was like maybe mine lasted i would say i don't want to say it lasted because i'm still going through this mental change and trying to get better i would say like i'm 85 percent better but every day is a struggle like i'm still a stay at home mom i still have fights with my thoughts my depression my anxiety keeps coming back i never experienced anxiety like this this is a whole new bar game like anxiety to where you're feeling like a heart like you're having a heart attack like if i can tell you how many times i've been to the hospital just for anxiety girl you would slap me in the face like i know it, it's crazy you know so that's why i really wanted this channel to be something for us moms maybe if you moms are never experienced something like this text me dm me and i'll i'll tell you guys like i and especially because i've been a child care worker so i've been talking to moms and experiencing mothers telling me about their labor and i never really thought of something like this i had mothers come up to me when i was in 
working and tell me about their experience of having a baby. Some mothers would come to me crying and just like, what's wrong with her, you know? But lo and behold, it was postpartum depression, you know? So, and I feel like as a system, we're all about the babies and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with being about like the babies. We love the babies, you know? But sometimes it's, we need to step back and be all about us. And I think this is, like I said, this is why I created this channel because I, it's enough, it's enough. It's enough putting ourselves last. Like sometimes we have to put ourselves first. And if we don't put ourselves first, like if we're not, nothing else is gonna be better. You're really truly honest with you, isn't it? Like our children is gonna feel it, you know? Our partner can feel it until we put ourselves first. So yeah that's my take on having another baby after covid i mean having a baby after covid um having another baby after postpartum depression i do want to have my kids but i'm not quite sure when i'm fully ready but are we ever even ready you know so but i'm just saying if you're here right now and there's a lot of women that don't make it through if you're right here right now, that means you already got a purpose, baby girl. Don't lose, don't lose your sight. Don't think you're less than or less of a woman because you did this or this happened. Like, you know, we're all human. Things happen during labor. And that's something I just wanted to say. I'm gonna finish straightening this hair because why is she lumpy? Okay, let's. Oh, this is a five by five. Did I tell you guys that? This is five by five. Let me know your guys' favorite wine. What do you guys like? Do you guys something like a champagne, something lighter, darker? I like um. I love me some Stella Rosa. Okay. <laughs> I love red wine. I just feel like too red wine is really good with cholesterol. I think I'm pretty sure it is. But I actually like red wine. I don't like something too sweet, but I don't like something too bitter. I like it just in the middle. So, and this one's perfect. I'll leave a link to this one down below. It's like sweet, but it still has that bitter taste. Bamidi, look at my son I'm trying to get in. I'll show you guys him after I do my take my time, okay? Because he has gotten so big. I don't think, you know, I don't know if you guys ever watched me when I was, like, pregnant and stuff like that. But I haven't been that consistent when I want to start being consistent on YouTube. Um, but he, his butt has gotten, like, huge, you know. He's, he's a big boy now. He's about to be two next month. So that's exciting. And that's another thing when, like... We forget who we are as women. Like, <laughs> if there ain't no women, there is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we hold down the household. That's and not only that. Like, we're like women. Like, there is no other than women. Okay, let's just say that. Like, we are so strong, and that's I feel like we don't get that much credit because I know some women that like our mother work three jobs take care of their kids, still try to follow their dreams. Like, girl, how do you have the time to do all that? Like, what? And I'm just thinking, like, those women are, like, like, they the shit. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next topic. <sighs> this one's a good one. Being a young mom. So, to all my ladies that are not young moms, sorry, this might not be a little bit for you, but I wanted to speak to my young moms because I'm actually a part of a Facebook group that dedicates to young mom. And I feel like I was able to, one time I was able to talk to this girl on the Facebook group. We, she just started messaging each other, talking about being a young mom and just, you know, sometimes it can just be a little bit hard. And I'll go into detail in a sec because I think my other question yeah yeah um how it could just be a little hard because as mothers as young women we're not really trained yet to be moms yeah we're learned to we're teach to do the dishes and um to clean up after men and things like that but we're also modern time modern days we're teaching we need to go get our dog get our 
dream career, meet our married. And when we become a mom at such a young age, I don't want to become, I don't want to say that it can hinder us, but that can hinder us from our ability to follow our dreams. Like to me, like once I became a mom, I had this like logical thinking that like this is all, like this is all I'm going to be as a mom. And I feel like now that I am a mom, I feel like it is my duty to step up and be who I need to be. Just not for myself, so my son can see me walk and be the person that I need to be. And I feel like as um, young moms, we tend to forget, like, we're just like, okay, well, I'm just a mom and that's it. And a lot of times, like me, like, I like where my friends at, you know, I don't have any friends. A lot of older moms can probably understand this as well, but I don't have any older friends, like any friends or more. Not that I don't have people that say, hey, how are you doing? But I don't really hang out with my friends because a lot of my friends are not ma mothers yet or aren't mothers at all. Some of them are, but they live far and it's just a little hard for us to like, make play dates or some of their kids are already older than mine you know they're not gonna want to hang out with a two-year-old like you know and they got a 12 year old you know what i'm saying so i don't, I don't know anybody not 12 year old it's just a little statement but um yeah so i think that was a little hard for me and i felt like kind of like first of all let me just say this like some of everybody's expectation in their family household is different when I got pregnant, my mom actually was happy. She wanted me and Joshua. We've been, we've been together for six years. Um, she wanted us actually to have a baby. His mom, happy. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's uh, expectation in their household is a little different. Everybody experienced like a pregnancy. Like some, some family household might be happy and some might not be. So, and I feel like that can also put a hinder on like, you becoming a mom too and also too like i think bef because as we are women you know and we know that when we get older we gotta be a mom we gotta do this we gotta take our chance to soccer practice so we want to go out we want to travel we want to have fun and i'm here to say that you can still do all that if you're a kid and i'm just talking to the moms out there that don't are not really sure if like like, let's just be honest, like, some moms are out here thinking about, like, abortion, and if that's you, that's, that's between you and God, girl, not you, me, God, so that's between you, God, um, but I just say pray about it before you make a drastic move, I know women that, like, had abortions, and were like, okay, like, even though that was a bad step, but I, I couldn't, like, and I can understand, because we all are in different situations, and now some women that are like, like what did I do you know like no I should have never done that so I always just say don't ever take nobody else's opinion even me guys like let's be realistic I'm a young mom I was thinking about having a baby um having an abortion not really honestly which is weird because when the doctors had told me that I was pregnant already like the mother instinct kicked in, kicked in. like I was like First of all, I actually knew when I was pregnant, I knew when I was two weeks like pregnant, which is really crazy because that's something I actually like about myself is I know when my body changes. Like I was so tired. I was like sleepy. I, my stomach was cramping. And what's crazy is I was not four weeks, I was only two weeks. The pee was so tiny, so they thought it was gonna be an ectopic pregnancy. And then the next couple of days, I remember my OBGYN called me. She's like, are you sure you want to do this? Let's go check them out. Let's see what's going to happen. And we realized my hormones kicked up. And then obviously, you know, he's doing good. So I, even though like I told my OBGYN, like this is something I meant I want to do, which, which is crazy because at the same time she was pregnant. She was nine months pregnant. Like, how am I going to tell a nine-month-old lady that I don't want to have a baby? Like, she's ready to have her baby. So, she, I really give it up to her because she really, like, just talked me through it. And she called me and she made sure, like, are, like is this something you really want to do? Or, like, what can I help you with? Like, you know? And I think I really appreciate her. Like, some people don't get that kind of service. And I really do appreciate her. But she, like she was just so nice you know what i'm saying so um but what is crazy is because after 
once I found out I was pregnant, I went into mom mode, which is weird. Like, I was looking at foods that I shouldn't eat, things that I shouldn't do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was really, like, boundaries in my stomach. Like I said, I work with kids, so I wouldn't even let the kids hug me. Like, even though I was thinking, like, I'm not going to have this baby. Like, I can't. I'm too young. I wouldn't have my life. But at the same time, my heart was just like, girl, we're having this baby, okay? Whether you like it or not. And I cannot imagine a world without my boo bear you know like i love him so much he makes me i honestly feel like i'm so grateful maybe and i think that's the same thing too is god puts us you know a lot of people are like why me god but it's a reason it's all a reason and i feel like i honestly feel like james came at this time to fulfill my purpose i feel like i wouldn't even have this place that i'm sitting in if it was James didn't come in my life, because I wouldn't be looking for a place. I wouldn't be looking for a place to put over his head. I wouldn't, like, I, I just got a new job. I wouldn't have that job if I didn't have James, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be leaving, like, I love my kids. I love childcare, but I didn't love it. So I wouldn't even be able to be out of that. Like, that was a good paying job, too, you know? So that's what's crazy. So any of you young moms that feel like a hinder or just feel like, is not the right move really just speak to yourself speak to yourself don't speak to nobody out maybe write out a list of what this baby can bring to you and what this baby can bring to your family and do to you like sometimes god does things for our purpose in our life like i really wouldn't have the motivation to do things if it wasn't for my son i probably will be stuck in my old ways guys like it's so crazy how much they say a baby will change you not just like make you crazy but you know just change your character your personality like i change up my whole persona for this little boy like i even though i say I don't have friends but sometimes i'm like i'm good i'm not with them because they don't need to be in my life like i would never have a person around that around a person like that around my son or me so period <laughs> but i just straighten my hair it's like whatever so keep it like this let's go on to our next topic i want to shave my face but I don't know if I got a razor. <laughs> okay, let me see if I got a razor because my face needs to go. Okay, yeah, I have a razor. I have a razor. Ooh, I have a razor. Okay, <clears throat> the next topic I want to talk about is just being alone. <laughs> Even though I kind of spoke to you about this a little bit, but. Girl, we as mothers, we slow, especially stay at home moms. Even if you are, I feel like if you're a working mom, that's too, because sometimes, like, your co workers, they're not obviously moms, but they want to go out, they want to go to the club. It's like, girl, I can't do it. I got to go home and watch my kid. And that can be a little hindering, especially because I'm not somebody who's very outspoken. I'm much an introvert. Like, I like to keep to myself. But I always had a group of friends where I can just go and talk to and just hang out, kick it, maybe go get some drinks, go shopping, you know. And now that I don't have that, I think that kind of does play in my mental health a little bit because it's like, like, I don't want to talk to Josh about everything. Josh is AKA my baby daddy. <laughs> but I don't want to talk to him about everything. Like, sometimes I just want to talk to, I talk to a group of girls about certain things I'm going through or just go to somebody's house drink some wine and talk to them about certain things like i don't want to talk to my husband about everything because he doesn't get everything you know i think that's why i wanted to just like you know kind of be able to create this youtube channel i know i keep saying this but it's so important for us moms to put our personal lives aka the kids away and create a social life for us or we're gonna go insane like we're going to go insane so i'm still like trying to figure out like what kind of friends i can gravitate to because you can't just be anybody's friend you know like obviously i can't be somebody's i can't like obviously i can be the friend but i can't really be an, a somebody who wants to party all the time and i feel like now that i'm in this persona where i want to do things differently like i want to work on my purpose i want to work on my dreams i want some a friend that's gonna put into me what i can put into them like you know we're both following our dreams we're both entre uh, we're both entrepreneurs you know what i'm saying so that's something that i really like am looking for in a friend is just like 
somebody that kind of fits me. It kind of sounds like a partner, but it's not. Like, there's women out there that have the same dreams, aspects, goals as you. <laughs> so, I don't see how crazy it is to find them or to make them become your friend. So, also, you guys, I just have a question for you. Woo! Did they get hair on them? No. Okay. Let me finish shaving for a myself. Okay. So I just have a question for you guys. So I'm a very shy person. Actually, this weekend we went to my uh, my baby daddy. He, his friend, threw like a game night. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. I met a lot of nice people. James stayed with the grandma. It was a nice time for us to just go out and just have fun. I really liked it. Um... But I noticed that, like, but this time around, I felt like I was a little bit more outspoken because, you know, like, speak up, girl. Like, you're 23. Speak up. Um, so, it was actually pretty fun. But how do you guys get over just being shy? Like, or just making friends? Like, that's why I wanted to create this YouTube channel. Maybe it'd be a little bit more easier. But I'm using the Too Faced Toffee to just kind of go in here my lace, even though it's, like, really good like this lace is like what you call hd baby like you might can kind of see it a little bit because i bleached the heck out of the front so it's like a little blonde streaks but it's really good i'm gonna get james jay i mean josh come here look at my lip mm-hmm I know that's right, my upper lip, lip. I know this might look like hair, guys, but it's not. Okay, it's just three black pimples that won't go away. They're not, they're dark spots. Oh, yeah. So, I'm just trying to find ways to make friends. That's it. So, if you're in the same boat as me, we can be friends. I'll put my social medias down below and you can add me. I have no pictures, but that is me. That is my social media, so... But I will be posting more so you guys will know for sure, for sure, that is me. But, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you guys real quick my favorite skincare you need to pick up. These are, like, really good skincare products. So, the first one, I love to use something that has vitamin C or that will brighten up my skin. That's because, like, during my period and ovulation, I get acne. And recently, I haven't been drinking as much water as I should, so I have a lot of dark spots, and that's something we're working on. So, the first thing I love to use is a Ole Hendrickson. It broke? James. I know who did that. So this is the Ole Hendrickson uh, C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I also like to use my serum, this serum right here, but I'm just going to use the cream today. I'm just oh my God, guys. Why is everybody coughing? Why is everybody coughing? Okay, so usually for nighttime, I love to use something that's like really hydrating. I like to make my skin look dewy. I love to be a slip and slide. That's something that I like to do at night. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. Some of you guys are on a budget. This is really good, but it gives me this lotion texture. I'm going to show you guys another one that I love, guys. And this one, is, the other one is expensive. But this one is not that expensive. It's like, what, 12 bucks, 10 bucks? But it's still really hydrating. Another one of theirs is this one, the Holy Grail Hydrating Face Cream. This one's super good. That, that one's more of a thick consistency. So even if you're oily, I feel like this night nourishing cream will still be good for you. And let me tell you something. If you're oily and you have oily skin, still hydrate. Don't think because you're oily, you don't need to hydrate. You need to hydrate. Like, hydrate your skin. Get your skin to look really good this is the tatcha luminous silk dewy green now they do have a luminous night one and that one i'm just gonna use this one this one's a couple a couple bucks less and it works perfectly i work i wear this for day and night both series you know so also um, I used to, when I was pregnant, maybe I'll put a little picture here. I don't know. Okay, I might be a little embarrassed. My neck got so dark. So dark. Elbows didn't get dark. My UVL, my, like, you know, 
nipples they got like not that dark but they seem like they got bigger but my neck and i know what happens during pregnancy is like you get dark patches and literally i couldn't even put my foundation down there because it would be like if i put foundation it would be ashy i was two-toned like it was light dark i was like thinking i was black facing people like it was so crazy i couldn't wait till after pregnancy to have to go like and i'll show you guys some of the stuff that i used to help if you guys are experiencing that i'll probably put that in my next video also i do post tuesday wednesday thursday and sunday so make sure you guys are on my channel during that time at 5 30 p.m um <clears throat> my last thing i'm gonna use is an eye cream this is the kylie skin eye cream and then you guys can go to bed I really like this. It's hydrating. And it makes your eyes. Hello? Nina! I got a little bad boy. And it makes your eyes look very like luminous, which I like, you know? Brighten it up. Create those, helps with those dark spots or dark circles. So. Those are good. The last thing I'm going to use is my Morphe Lippy Lip Mask. Thanks, baby. Thanks, Sib. Even though I didn't need it, but thanks, Sib. Okay. Mommy's done, Bobby. Mommy's done. He put it back. Okay, guys. So that is it of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy, like, the little topics i'm going to put out more videos and if you guys have any topics you guys want me to talk about leave them down below but i don't know why i'm trying to over here fix my hair so i'm going to bed but thank you guys so much i will leave my facebook group down below so if you guys want to go ahead and join it i'll leave it down below also follow me on all my social media so i am april w for all of them make sure you guys subscribe give this video a huge thumbs up and I love you guys. I love you mom so much. And you're doing amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.